Today, in our discussion of minority groups, we have with us two guests. One is Minister Malcolm X. Shabazz, one of the top leaders of the Nation of Islam, or the so-called Black Muslims. And we also have Mr. Herman Blake, uh, one of the teaching assistants in the course. Uh, we will discuss today some of the, the goals and some of the strategies of the Nation of Islam. And I wonder if Mr. Blake might start it off by asking um, Mr. Shabazz a question. Uh, Minister Malcolm, the thing that I thought might be good for starting it off is to talk about one of the most pervasive beliefs in the general society about the Nation of Islam, and that is that it is an organization dedicated to the use of violent means to attain its goals. The question I have is, how true is this, and why do you think it persists in society? Well, the, the Muslims who have accepted the religion of Islam and follow the religious guidance of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad have never bombed any churches, have never murdered any little girls, as was done in Birmingham, have never lynched anybody, have never at any time been guilty of initiating any aggressive acts of violence during the entire uh, 33 years or more that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has been teaching us. The charge of violence against us actually stems from the guilt complex that exists in the conscious and subconscious minds of most white people in this country. They know that they've been violent in their brutality against Negroes. And they feel that someday the Negro is going to wake up and try and do unto them as they have done unto, do unto the whites as the whites have done unto us. We aren't a violent group. We do, uh, we are taught by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad to be, to obey the law, to respect everyone who respects us. We're taught to display courtesy, to be polite. But we're also taught that at any time, anyone in any way uh, inflicts or seeks to inflict violence upon us, we are within our religious rights to retaliate in self-defense to the maximum degree of our ability. We never initiate any violence upon anyone. But if anyone attacks us, we reserve the right to defend ourselves. So to accuse us of, of being violent is like accusing a man who is being lynched, who is being hung on a tree, uh, simply because he struggles vigorously against his lyncher. The victim is accused of violence, but the lyncher is never accused of violence. And I only point this out because the various racist groups that are set up in this country by whites and who have actually practiced violence against blacks for 400 years are never associated or identified or made synonymous with the term violence. But whites speak of Muslims almost synonymously with violence. Whenever Muslims are mentioned by them, violence is brought up. But, not, but it's not connected with any other group. This is a sort of a propaganda tactic or what I would call psychological warfare to uh, in some way make uh, in some way make